Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at two strong buy software stocks. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at two software companies that just started trading on the public markets this past year, and analysts seem to be feeling bullish about their stock's future growth potential. We're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and exactly what analysts are predicting for their stock's future. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. All right, let's get right into these two stocks. The first on our list today is a company called Iron Source. Their stock trades under the ticker IS and is currently priced at $10.93 per share. Now, just today, their stock is down about 12% which is kind of strange as it's due to their third quarter earnings report coming out where they posted better than expected revenues and increased their full year guidance. But we're gonna get more into that in just a minute. Iron Source is a leading business platform empowering content creators to prosper in the app economy. Iron Source basically helps app developers turn their apps into successful businesses. Iron Source is one of the top independent platforms for game developers and is used by 90% of the top 20 most downloaded games. They help developers grow their user base, drive revenue, analyze and optimize, and reinvest. They have multiple products for user growth, monetization, analytics, creative management, and publishing. They helped power the first free-to-play Call of Duty mobile game and helped fuel user growth in the Candy Crush saga. As I mentioned before, they just released their third quarter earnings report on November 11th, and it included some notable highlights for the quarter. This included entering into an agreement to acquire both Tapjoy and Badalgo, and a partnership with Vodafone, and launching two new products. Taking a look at the numbers, they came in with $140 million in revenue, for 60% year-over-year revenue growth. Their adjusted EBITDA came in at $51 million, which was 70% year-over-year growth. Recently initiating coverage on the stock was five-star analyst Ivan Feinseth from Tigris Financial. He says that Iron Source continues to experience strong customer adoption in its two key constituencies of the global app economy. They're well positioned to benefit from both the growing use of mobile devices and increased user engagement. They'll continue to drive growth through increasing customer penetration and new customer adoption through ongoing investments in R&D, new product development and enhancements, creating new features and driving further client and market penetration. Iron Source's intellectual, capital-intensive, and highly scalable business model will continue to drive accelerating business performance trends. We believe significant upside in the shares exists. Ivan is one of 10 analysts that have a rating on the stock, and it does come in as a strong buy based on nine buy ratings and one hold. Their average price target comes in at $14.67 for an upside potential of over 33%. On the low end, we do have the hold rating with a slight upside of 2%, and on the high end, we have a handful of analysts with $16 price targets, which would be a growth potential of 48%. Second on our list today is a company called EverCommerce. Their stock trades under the ticker EVCM and is currently priced just above $20 per share. EverCommerce is a leading service commerce platform, providing vertically tailored, integrated software as a service solutions that help more than half a million global service-based businesses accelerate growth, streamline operations, and increase retention. Its modern digital and mobile applications create predictable, informed, and convenient experiences between customers and their service professionals. They now have over 2,000 global employees servicing those 500,000 plus customers. And in the last couple of years, they've seen a 61% compound annual growth rate for their revenue. They focus on three main industries, including home and field services with EverPro, health services with EverHealth, and fitness and wellness with EverWell. Their software solutions include marketing technology, business management, and customer engagement. EverCommerce shared their most recent quarterly earnings report last week on November 7th. Earnings per share came in at 13 cents, which was well ahead of analyst expectations of 6 cents and much better than the loss of 56 cents in the previous quarter. Their revenue came in at 355 million for a 34% compound annual growth rate compared to the last year and a year to date growth of 21%. Weighing in on the EverCommerce stock is five-star analyst Brad Reback from Stifle Nikolaus. 
He noted that EverCommerce reported a strong third quarter, beating expectations across the board as all verticals outperformed and the payments business experienced solid year-over-year growth. They continued to view EverCommerce as a very uniquely positioned player within the rapidly evolving SMB software enablement market. He is one of seven analysts that currently have a rating on the stock and comes in as a strong buy based on six buy ratings and one hold. The average price target comes in at $25.43 per share, which would be an upside potential of over 26%. Of course, on the low end, we do have our hold rating at $21, which would be an upside of about 4.5%. On the high end, we do have a $30 price target, which would be growth of over 49%. So there we have two software companies, both coming in as strong buys and both within their first year of trading on the markets here. Now, I always love hearing from you guys, so let me know your thoughts on these two companies. Were they on your radar already? And what do you think of their future growth potential? Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for entertainment and information purposes. Please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.